so uh, today will be a very short session of 15 to 20 minutes we will be quickly discussing the entire format of how the exam goes and all about it so um, i will uh, also share one ppt which is not very important so uh, cp2 examination happens on uh, happens on two days basically paper 1 and paper 2 uh, both are of th uh, 3 hours uh, 20 minutes for IFOA, 3 hours 15 minutes for IA. Um, they have given this additional 5 minutes IFOA because of uploading, uh, downloading and everything. Um, now, the entire structure of CP2 examination is basically you don't have to memorize anything. Okay neither do you have to you know there is a predefined syllabus uh from where you can actually uh sit and prepare or you know learn something uh it's all the past papers that we will be actually doing and that's the only resource because it's all about practice all right so uh, we have to entirely uh depend on all the past papers that we have for IFA. For IEI, what I generally suggest is you can practice IFA papers first, and then you can practice IEI papers. The reason being, in case of IFA, we uh, get a proper examination uh, examiner's report where we understand, you know, where they give the marks and where they don't. Nowadays, last two to three two terms they are not giving a very elaborative uh, examiner's report like they used to earlier but again um i since you know um i know the exact intricate places where you need to you know focus upon so i'll be guiding you the entire way that you know where to focus and where not to focus now one thing before starting off is that many of you will be thinking that you know cp2 is very easy examination um we don't have to you know um put in a lot over it and again there are people who are uh, then you will find people who are not able to clear cp2 examination in their first attempt so it's all about practice if you are actually putting in that kind of time practicing and at the same time you know what to practice and you know how to practice and you know how to deal with the how to deal with any question if it comes up which is very difficult so you can easily clear your examination right so cp2 is modeling practice uh, you will be using excel plus uh, our programming uh, sorry excel plus word for your examination in excel we will be making the entire model in word we will be writing about the model so uh, i will quickly divide it between paper one and paper two so paper one examination will be uh, you will be getting a background right in the exam paper exam paper is almost of five to six pages where you get your entire uh, background it can be any model now it's it's not that you will get a model related specific to life gi or um pensions or it can be anything finance or it can be about schools um five different schools in a city uh their marks in mathematics of class 12 students and comparing a few things over there it can be about solar panels it can be about electricity in general it can be anything it can be any in any data in general so it's not very specific to any core so uh, again a myth over here is that uh, students generally say that cp2 is easier when you start working no it's nothing like that as sort as sort the only thing is um just because when you start working you are good with excel right you become eventually good with excel so this is one aspect where it helps you but otherwise uh, i don't see a huge difference between a working and a non-working students appearing for cp2 examination rather than only this bit which you can definitely practice and anyways do so uh, you will get an entire background you will get some data in your excel file so it can be any data it can be uh, again about electricity solar panels it can be about uh, funds right returns and then you need to calculate something so you'll get a data we do some kind of data checks data validation data correction 
there we see whether the data which is given to us is uh, good enough to work with it's it's fit for use or not we perform various tests that we will be learning across and then uh, using the data and the background which is given to us we make a model now we are making a model from scratch right in paper one you make a model you have few charts you put in different visualizations once it is done then you need to produce something called as audit trail uh, in a word file so what is an audit trail you write the entire audit trail as in what you have done in your excel so you start off with objectives or purpose what was the purpose of your model what is the objectives what are the different things that you have calculated then you put in the data so what all you talk about the data section so what all data is given to you what are the sources of the data what are the additional data sets given so all those things then and within that you talk about any kind of data changes data validation data correction that you have made after that you need to write assumptions so um what all assumptions you made for modeling then you put produce the entire modeling part which is how you have exactly done or made your model properly with the excel formulas with uh, proper you know cell numbers column numbers everything so it's a very detailed way of expressing or communicating what you have done in your model this entire thing needs to be done in 3 hours 20 minutes right so paper 1 generally is little bit time consuming there you either finish on time just at time or there are again some students who are not able to finish the paper entirely there are some students who definitely finish it and maybe have like 10 15 minutes at max you don't get more than that no one gets more than that right unless and until it's a very easy model and it you, it strikes to you in a second but that in that case also you will not get that kind of time because you need to write a like a lot of audit trail which is again uh, the word file which is somewhere around 6 to 7 pages minimum that you need to type right so this is the entire structure of paper 1 where you are producing a model communicating so communication is again a very very important part of cp2 now there are uh, students who tell me that you know um you actually grammatical mistakes spelling mistakes the way you write your sentences actually um adds value over here uh there are marks given to this particular aspect as well uh so we need to consider this part again the modeling push if i am not able to get the model at one reading what will happen right so multiple things again another thing is that over here uh, since you are getting a entirely new model you have to read understand and then you have to do it and modeling is a very subjective thing as well because for example if i am to making a model shishti is making a model no both of us will never make a same model although our answers might match at the end but the process the columns that we make or the technique that we use might not be the same it might be very different and when you see the solution the past papers when you are solving and you see the solution you will see that it's very different so how to understand that whatever we are doing is correct or not this these are the things that we will be actually doing in class right for example i take my uh, example over here when i appeared for my cp2 paper in september 2020 so the paper one that we received at that time was extremely difficult so the model was extreme i um i did not have any friends at that time appearing for cp2 along with me so i did not ask anyone that you know were you able to solve it or not but when i uh, retrospectively when i uh, like uh heard from people they also said that it was a difficult model even we could not do it so you i was in the the solution like i will discuss my paper also with you all in my class so when you see my solution and when you see the examiner's report or the solution of ifoa you will say that it's a hell and heaven difference but still i could manage to clear my paper because the modeling part is not everything you need to understand this thing that the modeling part is not everything yes it is something but it is not everything so you can also clear your exam if that bit is not 100% perfect so all these small small things is something that i will be discussing with you all in class which is very important trust me um i know most of you are appearing for cp2 along with any other paper right so you will not be able to give that kind of time so from starting from today if you see i will be you know asking you all that 
this is the kind of time you need to put in uh, along with other papers and i'll give you weekly targets that you need to complete this much so that you can come down next saturday and you can discuss it accordingly right this is the entire thing now let's talk about the second paper like paper 2 or uh, day 2 now day 2 uh, is again 3 hours 20 minutes examination now what happens is that in this examination you will get background material plus the background scenario of the entire like whatever scenario is and then along with that you also get a audit trail like a part of audit trail in the question paper so the question paper somewhere is around um eight pages seven eight pages it's a long question paper that you get uh, with background and then with the audit trail the excel file which you receive contains the data also contains some part of the model which is already done by your colleague all right so your colleague has already done maybe uh, one third of the modeling part or maybe half of the modeling part is done and given to you what do you need to do you need to read the background material scenario material you need to go through the aud uh, audit trail and uh, spreadsheet simultaneously you need to understand what is done because now the model is given to you you need to move ahead with the model which is given and you need to maybe follow the similar kind of steps right for example i made the model half and i gave it to shishti she needs to understand the scenario first and then she needs to understand what i have done maybe i have different approach towards the things so what she how she calculates expected present value or how she calculates the final fund values or how she calculates the pension amount will be different than what i do somewhat presentation so she needs to understand what i have done and then they will be build up on questions on that particular model you need to complete that entire model that part will not take a lot of time because um if i tell you the marks for the spreadsheet portion only it is somewhere around 15 to 18 months that's it rest 85 to 87 marks is on your summary document like 85 to 83 marks is uh, on your summary document what is summary document now here again we make a word file whatever i mentioned in audit trail is there methodology like method part like how you have done the calculations will be a little shorter but along with that here we also explain the results like what are the results we are getting what are the charts we are making analyze the results Put your own conclusions so give proper conclusions and finally what is the next step like 20 marks is for the next steps like what next you have built a model done everything you have stated the result what next how we can improve the model or improve the data set or what else we can do how we can extend the model a lot many things definitely we'll discuss that so 85 marks of word file like you are typing, you are communicating, you are understanding the model, you are typing, right? So again, communication plays a very important role. At the same time, it's also important you need to know what all things to write because 20 marks of next steps, 20 marks of results. It's a very, like very good amount of marks is given to these particular portions. So you cannot just leave it. You cannot just leave it. So 85 marks, meaning 85% of your time should be devoted to that, right? Now, what students do, students generally do the opposite. They give a they give lot of time to the spreadsheet, but they're not giving good amount of time to the summary portion. And then at the end, obviously, they're not able to clear their examination. So this is, again, something that we will be discussing, focusing in class, that each aspect, how you need to focus, because trust me, it might seem very easy at start, but when you sit down and you practice and you type, you will understand that it's not easy. First one month will be a little bit, it will be a struggle for you. It will be actually a good struggle for you when you are not able to build the model or maybe you're not able to write the audit trail, you're not able to write the summary. So one and a half months, depending on your, um, one is your intelligence, obviously, uh how fast you can think and secondly is communication and thirdly obviously a little bit of experience i will not say it matters a lot because when i appeared for my paper i was also not having a very good job experience at that point of time so it does not matter honestly it does not i know a lot of people with experience uh, work experience still 
failing CP2 examination. So I know them. I know them, right? I know a lot of students who, with no zero experience, maybe half like six months of experience clearing their paper in one attempt. So it's again this this particular thing is a complete myth. Another myth is that it's only modeling. No, it's not only modeling. It's modeling communication is this much, right? Uh, so the name of the paper modeling practice is actually modeling plus communication practice, right? So it needs a lot of communication. Um, it needs a lot of practice. You don't have to actually memorize anything. But if you know the process, if you know the process that what should be done, how it should be done, then you can easily crack this paper, right? So these are the small things uh, that you need to keep in mind. How my classes will uh, happen, I will discuss that quickly. But before that, we don't have to discuss these many things. Excel and Word are the two things that we will be using the most now. In Excel also, you don't need advanced level Excel. We'll not be using pivot tables. We'll not be using uh, any kind of difficult features which are there. Basic functions. Basic, basic, very basic functions. Because understand whatever you're doing on Excel, you need to communicate it in word right if you're making excel difficult your communication becomes very difficult so if you keep your excel very easy if you use easy functions if you use easy uh, features to build your model you can easily explain it to the manager client whoever it is right so that thing needs to be that gap needs to be uh, fulfilled i have seen students using pivot table filling the exam. You cannot use pivot tables. I have seen using very difficult functions, not getting that much marks, right? So what functions to use, how to, you know, make it easy and all that we will discuss. So Excel and Word. In Word, again, we don't need to understand a lot of Word. We just need to do plain typing. Little bit of presentation matters. Uh, presentation, yes, definitely matters. But apart from that, you don't need to know any kind of shortcuts or anything. Basic knowledge of Excel and Word is fine. Even if you don't have that, I think you might be having it now because you have CMCS papers for Excel. So uh, and apart from that, you don't need any kind of additional knowledge over here. Right. Um, so one thing um, is time management. That is, I will say, one of the most uh, important part of the entire CP2 journey is that your time management. So. There is one thing that you need to understand in this particular paper is that anyone who is, uh, sorry, anyone who is um, smart enough to understand that what places you get marks in and how to manage time. Because in paper one, trust me, up your first time paper one solve karoge. Aapko four and a half hours, five hours, aise lagega. Aap model banaoge, usme aapko time lag jayega. Aap auditory likhoge, usme aapko time lag jayega. So, wo obviously, it will happen in but then definitely you have to come down to 3 hours, 20 minutes. So, the time management wala skill, hai, specifically in paper 1, is something that we will be talking about a lot in class. Right? Paper 2, maybe I have seen students facing a lot of time issues. Time issue, I think, is the biggest issue in CP2 exam. I don't feel that this is an issue in any other paper, not even in CMCS. Papers I teach CMCS, I teach CS2. I know CS2 may be nahi hota, CP1 may be nahi hota. Jitna time issue aapko CP2 ke paper 1 mein hota hai na, utna time issue aapko koi bhi 13 papers mein nahi hoga. Koi bhi paper mein nahi hoga. Agar koi aapko kuch aur bol rahe to ho, maybe uska personal experience hai. But I know it when from my experience also and from when I see students as well, right? So it so time management will be the major focus that we will be talking about a lot. Now, how the class structure will go ahead. Firstly, what you need to do is um, <clears throat> there will be a, a set of videos that you need to cover. And we will be also discussing that in class. So around 8 to 10 hours, ke videos aapko cover karne hai. Chika, I will give you time to do that. Uspe maine ek pura <clears throat> Sorry, I have explained one entire model of IFOA paper. I have explained one entire model. Um, IIA ka bhi hai, IIA ka lag hai. So, IFOA ke liye one entire model from scratch. Mene saath mein 
टाइप किया है यू कैन टाइप विथ मी मॉडल बनाया है आप मेरे साथ बनाओगे सो इट टुक मी दैट आई थिंक टेन आवर्स के अराउंड है सो यू नीड टू कम्प्लीट दैट फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट यू नीड टू इन क्लास वॉट वी विल बी डूइंग आई विल गिव यू टारगेट्स कि जैसे ना इस वीक में आपको ये पेपर करना है खुद से ट्राई बिकॉज इनिशियली आप नहीं कर सकोगे खुद से ट्राई आपको सोल्यूशन रेफर करना पड़ सकता है तो आई विल गिव यू वेरी आई सिंस आई नो ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन के पहले थोड़ा डिफरेंट होता था ट्वेंटी एटीन में भी सिमिलर है बट थोड़ा डिफरेंट होता था सो फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ऑनवर्ड्स आई नो ईच टर्म में क्या पेपर आया है आई एग्जैक्टली नो इट एंड आई नो कौन सा ईजी है कौन सा डिफिकल्ट है राइट सो आई विल गिव ईजी पेपर्स फर्स्ट देन आई विल मूव टू डिफिकल्ट वन ईजी पेपर्स में आई विल गाइड यू कैसे कैसे आपको पूरे वीक में उसको करना है वीक में आपको अडिशनली फोर टू फाइव आवर्स देना है उससे ज्यादा नहीं देना है यू नीड टू डू दैट इन क्लास सैटरडे आप आओगे आप अपना सोल्यूशन मुझे भेजोगे आई विल चेक इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरी वन लाइक आई विल डिस्कस इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरी वन दर इज नथिंग चेकिंग इन दैट इट्स डिस्कसिंग कोई डाउट्स आया वो सॉल्व करेंगे एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट डिस्कसिंग ऑन अ लॉट ऑफ पॉइंट इंडिविजुअली एस्पेक्ट्स की हर एक एस्पेक्ट को कैसे आपको डील करना है ठीक है एंड हाउ यू कैन इम्प्रूव सो एक्चुअली इट्स लाइक आई एम चेकिंग योर पेपर एवरी क्लास ठीक है तो एवरी क्लास यू विल सी योर सेल्फ इम्प्रूविंग सो दैट इज हाउ द इंटायर स्ट्रक्चर विल बी क्लासेस विल हैपन ऑन एवरी सैटरडेज वन आवर का क्लास होगा वन एंड हाफ आवर्स तक चला जाता है यूजली एंड दीज आर द थिंग्स दैट वी डिस्कस एंड इट विल बी अ वेरी interactive class because i will you will be also asking a lot of questions putting in points and discussing so this is a entire cp2 structure curriculum uh, if you have taken up cs2 class or uh, cp2 classes sorry then you need to uh, you know cp2 is easy yes it is but after a lot of practice not from day one to jab aap karoge shuru mein one and a half months aapko bahut difficult lagega but then you will get the flow if you are following what i am saying if you understanding agar aap points bana rahe ho agar aap me jaise jaise saath saath kar rahe ho to aapko wo difficulty phir nahi aayegi these are the basic things apart from that uh, i will give you weekly targets you need to keep a track on the dashboard student dashboard that what all i am mentioning to wo track rakh ke aapko sare cheeze karni hai right that's all do you have any questions you all can ask हेलो यस मैम आप पे जैसे फोर डिफरेंट फोल्डर्स हैं क्लासेस के तो वन इज तो फॉर आई आई तो आई कैन स्किप दैट बट देन देर आर थ्री अदर फोल्डर्स आल्सो सो व्हिच वन शुड